What is up, guys? Today we're painting Tiny Rick. I'm going to show the process start to finish. This is usually how I like to start out. I just sketch out some pretty basic drawings on poster board to get a stencil going. And then I take this here exacto blade and proceed to cut them out. You'll notice some bold black lines. That's where I plan to create what I call, uh, well, I don't have a name for it, but maybe like a, a bridge or a, a flap, you could say. You'll see what I'm talking about here shortly. I, uh, I like to leave a little piece kind of hanging on so that uh, I can flap over certain areas. Um, for example, the eyes. I'll cut around the, the entire eye except for the part that's in bold black. And when I'm ready to, I can fold that flap over and I can spray paint the eyes white. And these are the paints we're gonna be using. I went with gloss key lime, Krylon emerald green, and gloss white. Now I'm just laying down my stencil. I wanna get it positioned right before I start on the background. So I'm just gonna kinda of get an idea of where Tiny Rick's gonna go. Then I'm gonna start laying in the key lime and you'll see me working back and forth between the key lime, the emerald green, and I'm gonna save the white for last. Once my background is dry, I spray down my foreground image using the negative side of my stencil. And I'm always careful to use a few light coats rather than heavy ones to keep the edges nice and clean. Once the silhouette layer is dried, I reapply the stencil and I use the flappy method to kind of lock down the outline of the eyes, the mouth, and the eyebrows. As you can see, I'm going in with acrylic paints to lay down a base coat. At this point, I was undecided if I was gonna do the majority of this project with acrylic paints or Uni Pasca paint markers, but I decided to take the easy route and do most of it with Uni Pasca paint markers. All right, so here's a look at every color that I used on this project. I used Amazon Basics acrylic paint, and for the majority of it, I used Uni Pasca fine tip markers. And in the case of the black and white markers, I also used extra fine tip markers to uh, kind of touch up, touch up the edges and touch up the line work for the most part. All right, so now I'm going in with the paint markers, and I usually start off kind of rough, just kind of getting a basic idea of where everything goes. You'll notice that I go back and forth between different colors and between markers to kind of balance out my line weights. So as much as everything may look kind of sketchy and rough right now, throughout the painting, um, I'll usually just go back and I'll clean everything up, make sure everything's balanced, make sure the light weights are even. For the most part, it looks like this painting is getting to that point where it's pretty rough to look at right now, um, but that's common. Right around this time, it's kind of hard to look at it, but as the painting continues and if I push through at this point, um, it, it comes together really nicely in the end.
We are just about done with this one. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you guys for watching. And if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and hit subscribe. I've made it a personal goal to upload at least one video every week. And for the past month, I've actually been able to hit that goal. So if you want to keep up with the new vids, go ahead and hit subscribe and turn on notifications. If you want to keep up with all my art projects, you can follow me on Instagram. I am J-O-E underscore Chinzo underscore art and thank you guys for watching i'll see you soon